How to Detect and Prevent Financial Statement Fraud Welcome to Institute of Forensic Experts. In this video we will discuss about how to detect and prevent financial statement fraud. Financial Statement Analysis Financial statement analysis is a process that enables readers of a company's financial reports to develop and answer questions regarding the data presented. Financial statements express a company's economic condition in three ways. 1. The balance sheet reports assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. 2. The income statement accounts for the profit or loss of the company. 3. The cash flow statement displays the sources and uses of cash. At the end of these statements, there is a section for footnotes, a more detailed description of several items on the financial statements including a discussion of changes in accounting methods, related party transactions, contingencies, and so on. The footnotes to the financials can also give valuable tidbits about the changes that have occurred in the organization. For example, if an organization has changed an accounting policy, a forensic expert might be interested in understanding the reason to determine whether the change was legitimate or intended to benefit the organization or management. Financial analysis techniques can help investigators discover and examine unexpected relationships in financial information. These analytical procedures are based on the premise that relatively stable relationships exist among economic events in the absence of conditions to the contrary. Known contrary conditions that cause unstable relationships to exist might include unusual or non-recurring transactions or events, and accounting, environmental, or technological changes. Public companies experiencing these events must disclose and explain the facts in their financial statements. Increasingly, private and non-profit companies follow best practices and do the same. Unexpected deviations in relationships most likely indicate errors, but also might indicate illegal acts or fraud. Therefore, deviations in expected relationships warrant further investigation to determine the exact cause. Several methods of analysis assist the reader of financial reports in highlighting the areas that most likely represent fraudulent accounting methods. Analytical procedures are used to detect and examine relationships of financial information that do not appear reasonable. They are useful in identifying differences that are not expected, the absence of differences that are expected, potential errors potential fraud and illegal acts, other unusual or non-recurring transactions or events, comparative techniques, relationships among financial data that do not appear reasonable should be investigated. Forensic experts can employ the following techniques to help them identify such relationships. Compare current period financial information to prior period financial information, budgets and forecasts. Examine relationships among financial information. For instance, cost of goods sold is expected to vary directly in relation to sales. Study relationships of financial information with related non-financial information. For example, department store sales are expected to vary with the square footage of the sales floor. Compare information to that of other organizational units or entities within the same industry. Financial Relationships An understanding of general relationships between certain financial statement balances is necessary to identify relationships that appear unusual. If sales increase, how should the cost of sales respond? If commission expense decreases, what would be expected of sales? Answers to questions such as these are the foundation of financial analysis. The following relationships are general, and traditionally occur between financial accounts, however, unique circumstances may render different results. Assets versus Liabilities A financially healthy company tries to maintain a consistent balance between assets and liabilities. By keeping a certain balance, the company displays its solidity to lenders or equity investors and keeps financing costs down. 
A sudden change from historical norms means something has changed with management's view of its business. It also could indicate that management is trying to hide something. A sudden increase in the ratio could mean that liabilities such as long-term debt have been hidden in off-balance sheet entities. If the value of liabilities rises and the ratio spikes downward, it could reveal that the company is borrowing heavily to finance operations and that the risk of fraud is acute. Sales versus cost of goods sold The company generates sales because it sells its merchandise. This merchandise had to be purchased, manufactured, or both, all of which entail a cash outlay for materials, labor, and so on. Therefore, for each sale, there must be a cost associated with it. If sales increase, then the cost of goods sold generally increases proportionally. Of course, there are cases where a company has adopted a more efficient method of producing goods, thus reducing its costs. But there still are costs associated with the sales that are recognized upon the sale of the goods. Sales versus Accounts Receivable When a company makes a sale to a customer, the company generally ships the merchandise to the customer before the customer pays, resulting in an account receivable for the company. Therefore, the relationship between the sales and the accounts receivable is directly proportional. If sales increase, then accounts receivable should increase at approximately the same rate. Sales versus Inventory A company's inventory is merchandise that is ready to be sold. A company generally tries to anticipate future sales, and in doing so, tries to meet these demands by having an adequate supply of inventory. Therefore, inventory usually reflects the growth in sales. If sales increase, then inventory should increase to meet the demands of sales. Inventory that grows at a faster pace than sales might indicate obsolete, slow-moving merchandise or overstated inventory. Profit margins Companies generate sales revenue by selling products or providing services. Likewise, companies incur direct and indirect costs related to producing or acquiring the products they sell or providing the services for their customers. Gross, operating, and net profit margins are shown on the income statement. Over time, profit margins should stay consistent as the company targets a certain profit in order to stay in business. If the company encounters increased competition and must reduce the price for its products, it has to find ways to cut expenses. Ongoing pressure on profit margins indicates pressure on management, which could ultimately lead to fraud in the financial reporting. Unexpected Relationships When analytical procedures uncover an unexpected relationship among financial data, the forensic expert must investigate the results. The evaluation of the results should include inquiries and additional procedures. Before asking the company's employees and management about the variations, the forensic expert should first establish expectations for the causes of the variances. From expected causes, the forensic expert will be better suited to ask meaningful questions when interviewing company personnel. Explanations derived from employees should then be tested through examination of supporting evidence. For example, if the sales manager indicates that the increase in sales is due to a new advertising campaign, examine the advertising expense account to verify that a campaign did occur. If the advertising expense is similar to the prior year, the relationship is not reasonable and fraud may exist. Analytical Procedures Forensic experts employ several techniques to manipulate plain, unconnected numbers into solid, informative data to interpret the company's financial standing. Investigating relationships between numbers offers deep insight into the financial well-being of an organization. By comparing these relationships with other industries or businesses within the same industry, a forensic expert can extrapolate viable evidential matter and gain a greater comprehension of the company's financial condition. Financial statement analysis includes the following. 1. Percentage analysis, 
including vertical and horizontal analysis. 2. Ratio analysis. 3. Cash flow analysis. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe the channel.